Welcome to our discussion on Network Access Control, or NAC. We'll explore its importance in managing network visibility and access, especially with the rise of mobile devices and the security challenges they present. Thanks for joining me today, Nelly, and feel free to ask me any questions if you think I'm not being clear. NAC solutions are crucial for organizations to ensure network security. They provide tools for visibility, access control, and compliance, helping to protect networks from non-compliant devices and potential security threats. So, is it correct to say that a NAC system can restrict network access for non-compliant devices, placing them in quarantine or granting limited access? Yes, this prevents insecure nodes from compromising the network's integrity. NAC solutions offer profiling and visibility, identifying users and devices before any malicious activity can occur. This proactive approach is vital for maintaining a secure network environment. Guest networking access is another feature of NAC, allowing organizations to manage guest users through a customizable portal, ensuring secure and controlled access for non-employees. NAC solutions perform security posture checks, evaluating compliance based on user type, device type, and operating system, ensuring that only secure devices access the network. For incident response, NAC solutions can automatically enforce security policies to isolate and repair non-compliant machines, integrating with other security solutions via open APIs. With the rise of BYOD, NAC ensures compliance for employee-owned devices allowing remote work while maintaining network security through defined access policies. One last point I want to clarify for our viewers. What are the two main types of network access control and how do they differ? Sure. The two main types of network access control, ENAC, are pre-admission control and post-admission control. Pre-admission control enforces policies before a device can connect to the network, ensuring it meets security requirements like software updates or multi-factor authentication. If a device doesn't meet these criteria, it's denied access. Post-admission control, on the other hand, continues monitoring after the device is connected, applying policies to detect and block unauthorized activity. Thank you for joining our discussion on NAC Solutions. Remember, Centralize offers comprehensive solutions to enhance your network security. Stay secure and connected!